what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. And welcome back to another episode of How to Design with Adobe XD. My name is Michael Wong and in this episode I'm going to show you how to create a toggle with simply the tools in your property inspector. So let's take a look at this design. I have gone ahead and created a very simple dialogue where users can toggle on and off their preferences. So first things first, let's double click into the folder. Let's grab the rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle. Cool. Now the first thing we want to do is to actually round these corners. As you can see, they're very sharp and you can simply grab one of these circles and drag them in to have the corners or you can head over to your appearance tab in your property inspector and click border radius and simply input 100. So if you want less of a curve, input 10. But for this, we want to make it extremely round. If, say, you only want to round the top right corner, you can hit the broken line border icon and you can set the other settings to zero. And there you go. Awesome. So now that we've rounded the corners, what we want to do next is to add a nice horizontal gradient to, this, to the background of this toggle. So let's head over to the appearance tab once again, click on your fill, hit the drop down and select gradient. Awesome. So here you can see you've got the gradient editor, you've got the opacity slider, you've got the color field and also adding your colors to your swatch. Now what we want to do is we want to set one end of the gradient to a light green, we want to set the end of the gradient to a darker green and by simply clicking and moving these handles you can redirect the direction of your gradient. As you can see here, now it's a horizontal gradient. So that's looking quite nice. Let's change the border color of this slider as well. Let's make it a darker green. So obviously hit the, the border. Let's hit green and we can just toggle it so it's a little bit darker. It's looking quite nice. Awesome. So now what we want to do is we want to add a slider, a white slider to this toggle. Now let's head over to the circle tool and let's hold down shift so we can draw a nice perfect circle. And what we can do is we can set it to 36 by 36 and let's lock the aspect ratio by clicking the lock icon and move it over to the side. Looking quite nice. Cool. So now that we've got the slider, what we want to do is we actually want to add a shadow underneath. So let's select the slider and let's hit shadows under your appearance tab. And you're given the X coordinate, which is your horizontal axis, the Y coordinate, which is your vertical axis, and of course the blur setting, which is the strength of how uh, strong the blur is going to be. So if you want to move this shadow to the right hand side, you would have 10, as you can see there. You want to move to the left, negative 10. But in this case, we want it to be centered. For the Y axis, let's make it five, so we can push it down a little bit. And for the blur, maybe we can increase it a little bit, uh, eight, just so it's very subtle. And as you can see, it's very light. So maybe we want to darken it just a little bit. So select the slider, Click on the shadow setting and with opacity slider we can just bump it up a little bit. So let's say maybe 25 and there you have it. You have a 3D looking toggle made simply by the tools you find in the property inspector. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, or subscribe. I will see you in another video very soon.